But I'm sitting here today because I want to show you this new Hi everybody, it's Kevin Raver from Photo PXL and I'm back with you and I've got some exciting news to share with you today. Brand new tripod that's coming out very soon from Unique Ball. And I have their very large tripod, which I really love, but now they've got a travel tripod. I like the case idea because I can carry this bag with me. I can throw it in a suitcase. It's really compact. It's very light and uh, it's, it's just set up very nicely. Let's take a look at this. This isn't a review, it's a preview. Uh, there's only a few of these in the world right now. Let's take a look at this cool tripod. It's very light, but it's different. Comes with a built-in ball head and a four-way Arca Swiss plate contraption. And what's nice about this is they have their own little plate that comes with it. Well, let's set this thing up and see how easy it is to work with. So like everything else, I can grip all the legs and bring them out right at a, the same time. It's got a nice rubber grip around each of the knobs. Very easy to handle, very easy to work. I set the tripod up like this, worked my leveling head. I don't have to take the leveling head all out. I just might pull it up just an inch, make sure that I get using the ball level to a point where it's level, and then just tighten the center column knob. Now this base plate is level, all ready to go. I have one big knob here, as you can see, to loosen the ball head up here, and I have a smaller knob to handle the tension on the rotation. And it rotates very, very smoothly. Everything feels nice and adjusted the way you would expect it to be, and it's really sweet. And then this is what actually tightens the uh, plate on to the, uh, the, the top of the camera here. So with their own little plate and everything, it's great, but I use a lot of Arca Swiss L-bracketed plates by different manufacturers, as you can see. And none of these little tripods or anything unless they can hold a large, heavy camera. So in this case, I have my A7R4 with a vertical grip and an L-bracket. And I'm just gonna put it on here and we'll see how good this works. So put it on, tighten the front knob here until it's nice and tight. Once again, I would have really liked a, a clamping bracket. I'm very big on the clamping brackets, but this isn't so bad, it works. And seems to be pretty sturdy. And uh, the it's ball's not moving at all, it's really locked. I can loosen the pan head and it moves around very nicely. I should mention that there's another leveling ball down here, so I can lock it down. And then easily, I can rotate this around and do what I have to do. And it also has a notch if I wanted to do vertical, just so you can see how that looks. Now, just in case you need to, you can always use the center post, gain a little height if you want, find out where you're, you know, you're kind of happy with the level and then tighten it down. I don't recommend center post heights and raising center posts unless you have a lot lighter camera, but even so, this thing's remarkably still. If I put the self timer on and took a picture right now, I'm sure I could do a very long exposure without any issues. Uh, whatsoever. So typically I just bring it down like this and we're all set to go. Now some of the other features that are nice is I can change the direction of the legs by pulling out the click stop and locking it back in place at various levels. If I'm on uneven ground or I want to spread the tripod out for a lower angle shot, I can certainly be able to do that very easily. I'm really happy with this tripod. It really, for uh, being in a tripod that's not even on the market yet is well built, well thought out, and it might be the next tripod I take with me to Antarctica. Everybody, thanks very much. Take a look at this. We'll do a full review on it when it comes out. In the meantime, consider supporting this, and I'll see you on PhotoPXL, where we're enhancing your vision every day.